Hey guys, I I'm here and welcome back to another video. Today's actually a really special episode. Um, I followed through uh, my passion for this map. Um, I kept on going, I kept on striving. And I have some really good news to share with you guys. Um, I kind of started the Reaper voice pack. Um, <laughs> I gave it a go and I messed around with some you know effects on audacity and I think I have something that's decent enough to show as of now unfortunately I was not able to put it in a resource pack and get it in game for some reason it refuses to work I've tried many things many many things but I cannot get it to work in game for some reason the only thing I was able to do is get one of the voices to actually play in game and that's about it but uh, hopefully very soon I'll get some answers and some help on how to uh, add resource packs into a map itself uh, and write the JSON for it that's what I had to do I wrote the JSON uh, perfectly to work with only one <laughs> it, it didn't work with the others I have no idea why but um, yeah instead of parkouring on villager roofs uh, what we're gonna do instead is well, I'm going to play it to you, and now I'm going to write, it might be a little bit unclear. Now, the way it's going to work is you're going to hear the voice, and I'm going to type it um, like this uh, while you hear it, so you guys get an understanding of what he's saying, or what I'm saying, because I did the voices with uh, quite a bit of editing. Um, and yeah so you and in the map you, you know it's gonna some voices will be actually hard like the, for example the reaper will be hard to understand um, uh, at some points so it's uh, necessary to also have a tell Ross say it as well so yeah uh, I'm just gonna have a tell Ross say it uh, as we go so enjoy alright guys before I really showcase it um, there's quite a bit of voices I actually did. I spent a lot of time doing this, guys, and this is literally just a showcase. So, a lot of time is going into this map, and um, I've been getting a lot of, uh, you know, suggestions recently about the way I should do things. And I really want to talk about that this episode uh, because I have considered it. Um, so, you know what? We're going to do that here in a bit. Um, but. I think you're all waiting to hear what the Reaper will sound like. Now, again, this is what I'm capable of doing. Um, this is not set in stone, um, but I think it's really awesome, though. Um, and by the way, I want him to sound scary and almost like he needs to sound scary for who he is. Like, I mean, the Reaper, like, come on. It's the Reaper, man. Look at this. He's like invisible all the time he has to sound really scary anyways I'll get to it be careful be careful in the crypts be careful in the marrows enemies in the crypts enemies in the marrows now you're working be careful in the left jungle. Enemies in the left jungle. Never mind that. That's quite all right. Very well. Be careful in the right jungle. Enemies in the right jungle. My sincere apologies. <laughs> what do you guys think? Oh my goodness. I know, I know. A lot of you have mixed feelings, and a lot of you are excited, and a lot of you are mad. I don't. There's definitely mixed feelings about that, but that's my voice, guys. That is literally my voice. Um, you see what you can do with uh, editing. Um, and I mean if you guys really like it I can even do a tutorial maybe um, on how to modify your voice to that kind of extent um, it's pretty incredible guys honestly I've spent so long trying to figure out how to do it 
how to edit the voice in the way I just did. And I figured it out on my own, um, surprisingly, as I've been looking and searching for ages. And to be able to find it on your own is pretty insane uh, at that rate. Um, so, I mean, if you guys are curious, I mean, I, I don't mind doing a tutorial off Minecraft uh, once in a while. Uh, so, I mean, I can do it. So it really depends if you guys really like it enough for me to do it. Um, but, yeah, the Reaper sounds quite quite aggressive and and angry. I mean, uh, <laughs> he had a few punchlines in there. Like, um, normally you would say quiet, but he says shut your face. Um, uh, like, if you want to say sorry, um, like in the book when you have the... So, uh, the way I'm doing it is... You'll have a book in your ninth slot, every class will, and then you right click and you click to shout. So something like this, it would be organized kind of like this, uh, very to fit as much commands on one page as I possibly can so you don't have to right click and do that. Um, which is still very viable, but it's a matter of if you want to do that or not. Uh, so yeah. Well, it looks like the Reaper might sound like that after all. That's pretty insane. It took so long to put that together. I just want to emphasize that again. Um, I, do, I don't get much views on what I do. I don't get much attention on what I do. And I really uh, just wanted to show you guys, uh, regardless of that fact, um, I'm still working very hard on the map. And that brings me to talking about some other things. Um, but while I do that, hopefully I'll roll some footage of something else I'm doing. So basically what was brought to my attention is I should probably really hurry up with Raise Dev. A lot of people um, are asking me I should work faster and do things a certain way. And that's fine and all, but uh, there comes to a point where you're limited. Um, and I'm pretty limited. Now... Ideally, I want to do the redstone after the map is built so everywhere and everything is technically set in stone so the coordinates and all that stuff um, won't change. So that would enable me to just straight on work with the redstone, not contact builders uh, to get certain things done at a certain interval or whatever it may be. Um, but, you know what I could do is start some of the redstone while this is all happening but I don't know exactly what would happen um, if I do that um, what could actually happen is it can get deleted maybe in a snapshot it, it really depends um, I'm not sure the circumstances of reverting back and forth uh, between 1.79 and the snapshots I don't so I don't know how I would do that particularly um, so yeah, because we use world data on the server, that would be a big limitation if I move the building to the snapshot, which I'm not doing. Uh, but guys, I mean, I, I've been telling people that the probably beta, the first beta, proper beta test will happen at the end of summer, around September. And a lot of people did not really understand uh, why that is and why it can't be completed sooner. Um, and honestly, just, if you want like a simple reason, it's a large map. It's very, very detailed. It's a very complex map uh, in terms of redstone. Um, and a lot of people, like for example, Jevin, you suggested that I should copy over redstone, do this and that. A lot of the systems here don't have the full functionality of the class. There's so much more a class can do that is not in this test world, and I can't simply copy and paste. And for that matter, I can't even like th there's certain w like each class in this test version has their own team that will not be the case in this map there's just too much to be fiddled with um, s and a lot of things don't work still like the rays um, it breaks quite often for some reason um, and to be honest there's uh, no real reason I, I don't know why um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna rebuild it um, in the actual map um, so yes the whole idea with this world and doing these raised development videos with you guys is to further explain the process of how I'm doing things. It's to give you a visual representation of how things will be in the map. That's essentially it. It's not me building the map. Um, technically, not. I'm not really building the redstone of the map yet. Um, I'm giving you more of what you're in for kind of information. 
Like, for example, the Reaper, when he kills someone, he gets lifesteal for 15 seconds. You've never seen that before um, in this map, uh, in this test world. Uh, also, you have not seen, you know, for example, uh, Cropper's fear sensor. You've not seen that yet. Uh, and Morkra passive in the actual map, like you've not seen it properly in the map. Uh, and Nizerus support features that he is now a support class, like how he heals, that's not in here yet. There's so many things that are not in here yet that I have not even tested yet, um, but are supposed to be in the map um, for the first beta. And then the lobby, the, all this other stuff, the game handler, there's a lot, guys. There is quite a bit. And to be honest, uh, it's going to take a while. I'm a solo redstone builder on this map. It's going to take a while. You just have to roll with the... You have to be patient, essentially. I know it's a very hyped map, um, but it's not going to be a good map if I rush it out. So, please bear with me, guys. I'm trying very hard. I'm working a lot. Um, and, you know, I'm getting a job very soon here, and it's going to hinder the development, unfortunately, but... That's life. I mean, <laughs> what can I do? What what can I say to you guys uh, that would make it better than it already is? Um, it, it's it's just slow going. It, it's it's getting there. I'm even surprised I have a build team uh, to help me make it. Uh, literally, if I didn't have a build team, you would not see a raised map. Like it, it, it's pure fact. That's how it is. Literally, there would not be a map raise if it weren't for the build team. So, yeah. Thanks guys for hearing me out here. Now I really hope you guys can understand that. It's kind of tough for me to like talk that way, like very seriously with you guys that way. I know like the hype for the map is real and I really like that. Like I'm really satisfied that people are actually, you know, arguing with me um, that they want the map out. That That's actually positive in my eyes. That's really good. That means like, you're really you know, making people want to play, which is like more than a dream to me. So don't get me wrong, guys. Um, that's absolutely fine with me. I just want to explain, you know, what's really going on. <laughs> so I'm going to show you guys a really crazy system I have here. Um, bear in mind, um, this will probably not make it into the map, but I thought it would be really funny to uh, showcase this or... Also, the sounds with the system, I've been told, is really spot on for what I'm planning. Um, and I'll explain it in a sec. Let me just actually do it. So, essentially, uh, per se, let's say Marco gets three kills. This is what will happen. Um, M kill three. That's a sound effect. Now, what does this have to do with anything? Now, I called this the state. This could be a part of Marco um, that he goes in when he gets a few kills. Maybe Nizer. Uh, I don't know. I don't know how to use this practically yet. This is a very weird thing. Uh, but essentially, um, the idea was that little skull um, follows you uh, right underneath you. And if anyone's in that skull, like an enemy, it'll rain fireballs um, from your position to them. And essentially, you're trying to kill them. And you're in this state for about a minute, uh, maybe. Um, so it's a very powerful thing. And you're not supposed to move on the Y-axis. You're just supposed to move like this. Um, you know, straight, left, right, no up, no vertical movement, only horizontal movement. And that would enable it to work. Um, but uh, obviously I have not done that. It is very difficult. I don't know how to use the clone that way. Um, but I'm sure there's a way. I just don't know. I'm not the most clever person. I just did it again. And also the particles spawn up with you. Like as in you, the, you were lifted by the particles. So that's really awesome. Uh, objectives. 
quite a bit, huh? I guess I would show the rest of this episode some progress on Raze, and there we go. <laughs> so this is a giant tree uh, connecting uh, the sides over and over. Um, so yeah, this is what it looks like. It's basic as of now, and the inside is is almost done, uh, or maybe done. I'm not too sure what was the status on that, but yeah, that, that'd be it. That's how you get across. Um, that's it. At this point, you can't get at anywhere else. Yeah, you ha you're forced to take this on. Now you can uh, just as easily hide anywhere on here as the Reaper, which is which is the ideal thing. This is why I planned for. This is why I wanted the Reaper at least having some super vantage points um, to have, which is pretty big actually. Um, so yeah. Uh, yeah, this map is going to really work good for tournaments because uh, you can detect where Reapers are, you know, with the spectate highlight features and anybody invisible, whether it be a spectator or not, um, you can still see them regardless if you're on the team or not. So it, it's really awesome. Um, and uh, it's it works out good for raise as well, the raise ability. Um, I, ideally, that's what I wanted. Um, so yeah, it's pretty cool. Uh, I like how that's a part of the game. And yeah, I mean, that's a really about it, guys. Um, we didn't work too much uh, on the physical map itself. But, I mean, I thought I'd show. But, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed. My name is Iripism, and I'll talk to you guys in the next episode. Take care. Peace out now.